All right, so one of the most important skills in algebra is the ability to evaluate a variable expression for given values. So we have a variable expression here, m minus n squared over p to the third power, and we want to evaluate this uh, variable expression for these values. So m is equal to 2, n is equal to 3.2, and p is equal to 0.1. All right, now feel free to use your calculator, but uh, if you can do this problem, go ahead and put your answer into the comment section. I'll show you the correct solution in just one second. Then, of course, I'm going to evaluate this expression step by step. All right, so once again, m minus n squared over p to the third power. What is this all equal to when we plug in uh, these values for these variables? Well, let's take a look at the answer. Okay, so the correct answer here is negative 8240. All right, now, if you got this right, well, you're definitely uh, going to get a happy face and an A+. Plus. And if you're like uh, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I made a mistake someplace. What's going on? Well, this is not that difficult. However, you must be very careful when you do a problem like this. Matter of fact, uh, let's go ahead and get into things right now. All right, so... What we want to do is evaluate this variable expression. Now, let me say that again, okay? E a variable expression. We're expressing something just like a sentence in English. You know, if you want to express yourself, you would write a song or a poem or maybe write a little, you know, uh, note to someone, right? Same thing in mathematics. Here we're trying to express something and we're expressing it with variables, variable expression. But we need to understand this word right here, evaluate, okay? So in mathematics and in algebra, when you hear the word evaluate, what it means is the variables involved, you're going to have specific assigned uh, numeric values, okay? Of course, these can always change the values here, but you'll be given specific values for these variables. In this case, m is equal to two, uh, N here will uh, let equal to 3.2, and then P is going to equal to 0.1. So all you do when you evaluate a variable expression in algebra is simply replace these respective variables with these values, and then just do all the number crunching using your calculator. Okay. Now before you get going and just start doing a bunch of busy work, what you want to do uh, is, and this is really important, is plug in the values. Okay, here's the expression. And then you're basically going to plug in each of these variables here. You're going to replace these variables with the respective values. But I'm going to strongly suggest that you get used to using parentheses. Okay, so use parentheses, plug in these values. So M is 2, so put parentheses 2 minus N is 3.2, parentheses 3.2, M parentheses squared, then P is 0.1, parentheses 0.1, all that uh, cubed, right? P cubed. Now, before you start, okay, double check your work. Go like, look at the expression, look at what you did, look at the expression, look at the values. Don't do anything because I've seen this thousands and thousands, tens of thousands of times where students are like, oh, they're great. They'll plug in uh, the wrong values they'll, and they'll do something wrong right here by plugging in uh, the wrong values and then the rest of this math is beautiful however they did the wrong problem because they had the values wrong so don't start doing anything before you you're really really sure that you have the correct values okay so now that you feel good about that let's talk about what to do next so here we have 2 minus 3.2 squared over 0.1 cubed what we got is a big fraction right here right so we have a numerator and a denominator. So you want to kind of break these up separately. So let's focus first on simplifying the numerator. Of course, we'll get a value for that. And then we'll figure out what the denominator is. We'll get that value. And then finally, lastly, we'll go ahead and divide those two values. So let's go ahead and work on the numerator right now. All right, so here's our problem. And as I just said, we're going to focus in on this part of the problem. So that's 2 minus uh, 3.2 squared. All right, so 3.2 squared. Remember what you have to do. Uh, we are keeping in mind the order of operation, PEMDAS, all this real basic stuff. By the way, if any of this stuff kind of like troubles you, if you're like, I need more help, I have way more additional videos on my YouTube channel. Plus, I would strongly suggest checking out something like my pre-algebra or Algebra 1 course to help you out with this much, much further. 
Okay, so here, what do we have to do first? Well, we have to figure out the powers. So 3.2 squared. Now, this could be pretty easy for a lot of you if you didn't know how to use your calculator, because all you have to do is go 3.2 times 3.2. That's not the way you want to do this with your calculator, okay? So you want to challenge yourself. Make sure you understand you're using the proper functions on your calculator. So let's talk about how to evaluate or how to calculate 3.2 squared. So on your calculator, you'll have some button generally like this, like an X squared button, or maybe it's like a Y squared button. Another very common button, button excuse me, is this upside down thing uh, symbol right here. Um, that's called a carrot, okay? So figure out which one calculates the power. You, sometimes you'll have a dedicated button for squares, not for um, uh, like cubes, okay? But it's oftentimes very common to have a dedicated button for squares. So you can hit like 3.2, for example, and then find that X squared button and get the right answer. Now, if you don't have that button, you would go 3.2, hit this button like that. That brings up my exponent. Uh, so I would type in two, okay, then hit enter. So make sure you understand the calculator that you're using, all right? So you don't, you're not trying to uh, stumble on this when you're in the middle of a test or quiz. All right, so anyways, um, uh, when you do this though, 3.2 squared, you're gonna end up with 10.24. So we have 10 minus 10.24. Now you can go right into your calculator as you should, but you gotta be very careful here, okay? Because you here you have 10.24 and you might be thinking, I'll subtract two from it. You gotta be very careful and notice that what you have here is a negative value. This is like two minus 10, which is the same thing as two plus negative 10. It's gonna be like negative eight. Now, before we continue on, please consider hitting that subscribe button. This really does help me help as many people as possible on YouTube. Now, my channel is all about trying to make math clear, understandable, and interesting. Also, I'm trying to encourage people that are having a tough time in math to never give up. So if you enjoyed this content, again, hit that subscribe button. And if you're gonna do that, hit that bell notification as well so you can get my latest videos. All right, so got to be very, very careful here. All right, so this is our numerator. And now let's move on to our denominator. So our denominator is uh, 0.1 cubed. All right, so as I uh, talked about previously, uh, on your calculator, if you have at least a scientific calculator, you probably are going to have this little, what we call carrot key. So to figure this out, it would be 0.1. You hit this button right there, carrot key, and then you bring up your exponent three and then hit the equal sign. And if you do this correctly, you'll get 0 0.001. Okay, so that is our denominator. And now let's put this thing all together. So we did all of this number crunching. We got negative 8.24 and 0.1 cubed. We got 0 0.001. So I notice right here, I'm, I'm have a negative divided by a positive. So my final answer is going to be negative. So when I go uh, negative 8.24 uh, 8 divided by 0 0.001 in my calculator, you end up with a negative 8.240. Okay, so I hope this video helped you out. And if that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. Now, if you need additional help in algebra, check out these courses right here. So pre-algebra is uh, for those of you that are studying basic algebra. But uh, if you are further along in mathematics, then you may wanna check out my Algebra 1 or Algebra 2 courses. Now, my Math Skills Rebuilder course is a review course. I cover basic math algebra and geometry in this course. I'm gonna leave links to all these courses in the description of this video. All right, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.